Genesis 14. About this time, King Amraphel of Babylonia, King Ariok of Elisar, King Kedorlaomer of Elam, and King Tidal of Goyim attacked King Bera of Sodom, King Beersha of Gomorrah, King Shinab of Adma, King Shemeber of Zeboim, and the King of Bela, also known as the city of Zoar. King Kedorlaomer and his allies had ruled these last five kings for 12 years. But in the 13th year, the kings rebelled and came together in Sidim Valley, which is now covered by the southern part of the Dead Sea. A year later, King Kedorlaomer and his allies attacked and defeated the Rephaites in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzites in Ham, and the Emites in Sheva Kiriathaim. They also defeated the Horites in the hill country of Edom as far as El Paran near the desert. They went back to the city of Enmishpat, better known as Kadesh. Then they captured all the land that belonged to the Amalekites, and they defeated the Amorites who were living in Hazazan Tamer. At Siddim Valley, the armies of the kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and Bela fought the armies of King Kedorlaomer of Elam. King Tidal of Goyim, King Amraphel of Babylonia, and King Arioch of Elisar. The valley was full of tar pits, and when the troops from Sodom and Gomorrah started running away, some of them fell into the pits. Others escaped to the hill country. Their enemies took everything of value from Sodom and Gomorrah, including their food supplies. They also captured Abram's nephew Lot, who lived in Sodom. They took him and his possessions and then left. At this time, Abram the Hebrew was living near the oaks that belonged to Mamre the Amorite. Mamre and his brothers Eshkel and Aner were Abram's friends. Someone who had escaped from the battle told Abram that his nephew Lot had been taken away. 318 of Abram's servants were fighting men, so he took them and followed the enemy as far north as the city of Dan. That night, Abram divided up his troops attacked from all sides and won a great victory. But some of the enemy escaped to the town of Hobah north of Damascus, and Abram went after them. He brought back his nephew Lot together with Lot's possessions and the women and everyone else who had been captured. Abram returned after he had defeated King Kedorlaomer and the other kings. Then the king of Sodom went to meet Abram in Sheva Valley, which is also known as King's Valley. King Melchizedek of Salem was a priest of God Most High. He brought out some bread and wine and said to Abram, I bless you in the name of God Most High, creator of heaven and earth. All praise belongs to God Most High for helping you defeat your enemies. Then Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of everything. The king of Sodom said to Abram, All I want are my people. You can keep everything else. Abram answered, The Lord God Most High made the heavens and the earth, and I have promised him that I won't keep anything of yours, not even a sandal strap or a piece of thread. Then you can never say that you are the one who made me rich. Let my share be the food that my men have eaten. But Ana, Eshkol, and Mamre went with me, so give them their share of what we brought back.' 